Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today here with a uh, old school replay from 2012, so 11 years old. And down in the south position of the original tournament desert. This is the purple player. This is the GLA Stealth. This is UK Scotland. Now that is otherwise known as Google, I believe. Up at the top position with a China Nuke. This is the pink player. And this is why you no kill. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm guessing this is a Clan Wars match. UK was a, was a clan at one point. I think also Rage was in that clan at one point as well. I don't know if it was within the same month or whatever, but at some point Rage did join this clan. I think he was called UK Pikey, I believe. And was there a UK Cymru? Which basically is Wales, if you're familiar with the UK. You've got England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. But yeah, this is uh, quite in favour of the stealth, I think, with the with the cars. This is the um, old school style, where you would get the two cars from the beginning, and you would send them across the map. It would be kind of crazy to go back and play with those now because i think the stealth has a good enough chance even without the cars but with the cars you can literally if he doesn't make the mines you can hunt him straight away so both cars are going to head over to the left and he gets one of the cars sorry one of the trucks even <laughs> one of the cars gets one of the trucks so i'm assuming this south player is google and he has not put his rpgs inside of the building yet which is quite a mistake because now this battle master will be able to get through close these down and kill those RPGs pretty quick. Over on the left hand side though, probably with the help of some RPGs inside of the tunnel there, he's taking out a Battlemaster as well. Personally think that Battlemaster should have uh, ran over these guys and started camping that because now that has allowed who I think is Google to get inside of both of these buildings. Um, some interesting players there actually. Zig was a player from Asia who was actually very good as well. Maybe not like on the same level as Google, but he was like a solid like kind of freestyler level player, I think. Yeah, Zig was very good. So Scotland risks going on the mines, loses his technical, but he did grab one dozer there. He's now making the quads. Not that great against... Uh, Battlemaster squads. But in, in numbers, you can still take them down. Battlemaster around the back just clears that up. And yeah, all the trucks. Um, still in play at the minute. Battlemaster heading down the left hand side. What I think um, is more utilized in the very modern zero a meta is more and more stingers because you see that extra tunnel there it's not really going to add a lot it's not really going to save your bat battle masters from coming in and wrecking all your workers however imagine if you did a stinger there and then every time the battle master started putting pressure or there's a flamer coming you pop the quads and defend with the stinger it would be a lot better than uh, just doing an, an extra tunnel there. Yeah. This flamer somehow <laughs> got all the way around and is actually now going to kill the arms dealer and supply. This is looking very good for the nuke. Uh, I'm struggling to see a way the stealth's going to win here. How do you come back from that, man? You're just losing your entire base. Yeah, what a legendary flamer. And you could even get a little bit more out of that flamer. You could go like... You could go, once you've killed those two buildings, go around there and just flame over. Because your flames go over the supply and you can stop things counter-attacking you. So you could have got a little bit more out of that um, flamer. There is a hijacker. Overlord spam has begun. There should be really no way the stealth can win from here. Because everything is going the nuke's way. It's something you would see more nowadays. You'd, you'd see a barracks there. And you would see that oil and that oil captured very, very quick. In this case, he's rushed out to 
two unique overlords, which isn't bad. He's prioritized that before a palace and a jarman heads out, which I think is a, is a, a, a good way of dealing with it. I think nowadays, though, you would see faster barracks, faster oil cap, but this is good. This is still good. Uh, he would, he should be getting subliminal meshing, that's for sure. Stealth is trying to hold on there at the front. But with quads against overlords, even Battlemasters wreck the overlords. They wreck the, um, wreck the quads. So, I mean, never mind when the overlords rock up. I do have a feeling we're going to see a hijacker work at some point, though. There's a sneaky hijacker here waiting on the right. Only been four workers collected on the right for a while. There's a hijacker here. I'm guessing he's gonna he's gonna uh, capture something. Surely, if you keep spamming the hijackers, eventually you're gonna get something. If that's an overlord, it could get really interesting. Oh, it's a nuke cannon. Ooh, okay, that's really interesting, man. He could control fire here now. Is it gonna hit the war factory though? Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Of all things, it's a nuke cannon. Oh my, the awkwardness here. I don't know if hitting them trucks is a good idea. I think maybe better doing more damage because now he's hunted. Any damage you do to buildings now can't be uh, can't be replaced. But you still kill two trucks. It's still good. That was uh, a legendary <laughs> hijacker. But yeah, one thing with the nuke, he's so, he's so focused down the mid, and he's not got that oil and not got that, the lotus out. So he has no vision on the right. So this flame is going to get in. That overlord's going the wrong way. So both players are taking immense damage here. I still have Google on, on WhatsApp, by the way. I message him every now and again to ask him if he's coming back. He's, his answer basically is, unless there's another pandemic, <laughs> then he's not, he's not coming back. I think, he's, I think he's got a wife now. I think he's busy with work and stuff like that. And I think, I think it takes some willpower to put game into his side when you used to be uh, spamming it so, so much. Like, Google was known for being one of the biggest spammers in Clan Wars. He would play, like, almost a thousand games in a month of, of just Clan Wars. I think, I think he was, his record was, like, 750 or nearly 800, something like that. I think that record has been beaten now. I think Freestyler might have been it, actually. But this base trade is insane. I, I still think the nuke should win, though. Because how are quads going to break through that? You have to rely on another lucky hijacker, really. Overlords continue their rampage. Still no subliminal messaging, which you should be getting. Doubles the heal rate on your overlords. This hijack is going to come in, but is he going to... Oh, my God. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Why didn't he just, like, stop and just target the hijacker instead? Now, the stealth has its own overlord, and there's a, a supply on the left. This army's kind of stopped. If, you, if you're ever going to stop like that, you better just put it on guard mode. At least it will clear it all automatically for you then. And attack anything that comes close, like a hijacker. So the stealth now is running off with this overlord. He can still make another one, though. He can still make a turn. And the, the stealth's not going to get a palace for ages. Palace is normally what you need. Like, you need the Jarman Cal to be sniping these big, strong units. But at the moment, I suppose, he doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really need a Jarman. He's just running in and out with hijackers, stealing new cannons, stealing, uh, stealing overlords. All right, so the nuke now, why you no kill? He thinks that the whole base of stealth is cleared. So now he's heading over to the left in case there is something here. But we know there's a barracks there, barracks there. It's going to take quite a while to clear the whole of stealth from the map. A quad and some RPGs moving in. He's really scared of hijackers, isn't he? I don't know why he couldn't just put an outpost there, outpost there. Then you, like, It could be an empty outpost. And then you'd be covered against all stealth units. Then you wouldn't have to sit on the mines like this. I'm not so sure about making a new cannon now. I think Overlord's ECMs is more important. And I also think this army 
should just charge straight down here. Now, ignore all these tunnels because your units will survive anyway. But you need to go and defend your base now. There's RPGs from the side here have picked up this new cannon. And the nuke is getting torn apart here. He needs to send his army now right back to his base. RPGs are going to kill the war factory. The nuke's on a, on a big, heavy timer here. Overlord going for the crushers. The micro could have been a little bit better, but now the thing is that Overlord will die to in a 1v1 against that Overlord. But it doesn't matter. The nuke's base is getting wrecked. This army should have been clicked past all them tunnels. Killing them tunnels was not important, but getting back to your base and saving your base is important. You are victorious. What an insane game. Short and sweet. Short and snappy. So if we think back which hijacker really won the game i personally think it's the one that got inside of the overlord that really won the game but the one that got inside the nuke cannon did make a big difference as well because it hunted the nuke but i just feel like the nuke was a little bit slow and ponderous like there was multiple decisions you need to be making like sending them overlords all back to his base or he could have even saved that dozer when he got hijacked he would have been notified about it he could have moved the dozer really close to the nuke cannon because the new cannon has a like a minimum distance that it needs to fire. So then he would have been able to save his dozer. He also could have got the um, oils uh, sooner. And he also could have just had like one battle master just chilling on the right. If he if he had a flamer hijacked, I suppose that's another one actually. A flamer must have been hijacked too. If he had a flamer hijacked, he should be covering the sides. And he even had an overlord at the top right actually when that flamer came in. So I think there was a skill level difference there. I think the, the purple stealth is Google. And... Um, yeah, we all know he's a very, very top player. Probably top 20 of all time, top 15 of all time, maybe even higher than that. Whereas, uh, why you know Kiel? I'm not sure who that is, but uh, hopefully he's still watching the channel. Uh, I don't know if he is or not, but if he is or if Google's watching this, drop us a, drop us a comment and you'll see. If, if Google's in the comments, you'll see just how many people want him actually back because he was a super, super beast player, especially like on DEFCON, but especially in 1v1s when he was spamming. And there's some f fun people here as well. <laughs> Trojan, I think he used to play with uh, Google a lot in 3v3s. Might be mistaken. But Zig used to be a really good 1v1 player from Asia. I can't remember which part, though. Is it like Indonesia or Malaysia or Thailand or something like that? It might be Thailand. Zig is from, but yeah. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the, uh, in the comments. GG, well played, and I'll see you in the next one.